You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I have a returning guest who I always love to have on Greater Brockton, my friend Laverne. Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> I'd give you a hug, but here. we're all wired and we're, we're all mic'd we're, up. We're all snaked up, as Absolutely. we say in the TV world, right? <laughs> snaked up. I like that. That's a, that's a good one. So we are here. I just got a chance to see you at the walk that Family Community Resources did yes. last weekend, and that was fabulous. Yep. Uh, it raised money to help people. Exactly. Um, but we have a, a even bigger event than oh. that. We have the annual fashion show yes. that you put on, and it's over at the South Shore Country Club in Hingham. Correct. And after the election in Brockton. The election, I think, is the 6th or it's the 5th the or whatever fifth. day it is. Yep, that's okay. a no school day. I know that date well. <laughs> right, but the 9th, which is Saturday, ninth, it's 7 o'clock. Yep when everybody is tired of politics and hopefully the next election doesn't start after the last election exactly. ended, um, it's fashion and it's not just women, yeah. it's men and women. It's men and women. So and tell us about it. So the Empowerment Fashion and Trunk Show is now happening for the third year. I'm so excited to be saying that the third year in a row where the models are survivors of domestic violence. They have been affected by this issue in w one way or the other, and they are all coming and walking the runway to show that they are not ashamed about being affected by this issue anymore. Um, for some folks, it's a coming out of sorts. Mm -hmm. um, this particular year, we have models that are returning from both our first show and our second show because we have a new uh, fashion clothing sponsor this year, Vogue My Closet. And it just so happens that she walked in the very first show that we had. So it's come full circle for mm -hmm. her where she had now has her online clothing store. Um, but to make it easy on her, we invited models from the first year and the second year to partake because they sort of know the drill, mm -hmm. right, so to speak. And so it is a night where folks are anxious, folks are uh, giddy, folks are excited, but more so inspired by the people that are in the audience that say, we support you, we believe you, we hear you, and we're here for you. So it's just an amazing night where people come out and support survivors and hear, you know, really tidbits about their story from the fashion show host that night um, because everybody submits a bio about what they've gone through and what it means to them to be part of the show. So it's really an inspiring night, Mark. How many uh, models? Do you have a number? 10 to 12, 10 typically. 10 to 12, okay, cool. Yeah, and as I said, you know, the, they're returning models, but again, they are, when we, when we put out the call for them to partake, they were ready and willing because they're saying that they care. They care enough to want to inspire others that have gone through this issue so that they can show that they are not alone. Not th and that's the thing with domestic violence is that people think you're the only ones. Just in the past week, Mark, we've heard at least three stories that are affected, that where, where folks have been taken by domestic violence. I mean, um, this is an issue that's rampant, and it's something that I talk about year-round, as you know. Mm -hmm. uh, our organization, Love Life Now Foundation, is centered on bringing awareness to this issue. This isn't something that people tend to talk, want to talk about. So I applaud you, first of all, for having us and giving us this platform to be able to voice that, because people sitting down where they are know somebody know someone that may have been affected, knows that you know they need help and they're not sure how to offer that help. So having folks understand that their agencies like Family and Community Resources, you mentioned their walk, they're right here in Brockton. We're always happy to support the organ any organization that is centered around helping and providing resources. So I can't thank you enough for giving us a voice and a platform on this, on this issue. It's easy to give you the voice and the platform yeah. because you do such incredible work. So in order to get tickets, how would people do that? Visit us on social media at Love Life Now Found, but you can also find tickets on our website, www.lovelifenow.org. Again, lovelifenow.org. You can find the tickets right there, and we hope to see you that night. And even if you don't come support, join us on social media and be part of the awareness cause. Yeah, you definitely know how to do social media. We'll, <laughs> we'll be doing a little promo after this show. I love it, yes. And then yes. we'll give you this to promote as well. Yes, um, thank you. Now, and we in domestic violence this awareness month. This is domestic month. violence awareness month. It in is October. breast cancer awareness month, but right. it is also domestic violence awareness month. And the thing is, is that we don't want this issue to be 
on the forefront when it is during the month. We want it to be year round. But yes, during this month, we ask folks to be a little bit more aware about the ways that you can be part of the solution, ways that you can be have access to resources because you never know when this is going to affect. Just last night, I had a very good friend of mine call me about a friend of hers that um, her, their family member was missing and was afraid that it might be connected to domestic violence. You just don't know when this issue is going to pop up. And unfortunately, it's happening everywhere to a lot of people. One in every four women, one in every seven men, one in every three teens. So this isn't something where you go into a room and you think, well, uh, there's nobody here that's going through this issue. There more than likely is. Well, if you think about it, you know, I, I know that I've been exposed to, you know, teen dating violence. Yes. It, 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 and, and, Kids yes. seem to date a lot earlier now yep. than they did before exactly. back in my day. Absolutely. So, um, you know, there's, there's, my hope is by doing this and yeah. giving you the exposure, which is what our job is, Yes. is if somebody happens to have cable turned on in the background mm -hmm. and they're looking at our channel, even if they're not going to this event, Correct. they know how to get in touch with That's somebody. They it. know how to get you. They know that there are local resources and especially there are a lot of people you know, that uh, come to this country, mm -hmm. that are immigrants, Absolutely. that don't speak the language, don't that speak may the language. be afraid to talk to the police. Because they've been threatened over and over again by their perpetrator that says over and over again, if you speak, I will have you deported. If you speak, you're gonna go to jail. And they're not understanding that that's not what's going to happen. If anything, you are protected by the Violence Against Women Act, which says that if you report a crime and you're not uh, legal in this country, you're not going to be deported. You're not going to be persecuted because a crime has been done against you. Right here in Brockton, there are uh, domestic violence liaison officers, Officer Fonts and Jen Paulinese, right out of the Brock Brockton PD, that are here to come help you, speak to you in the language. One speaks CV and the other one, I'm sorry, Portuguese, and the other one speaks Haitian Creole. So right. please open up, even if you don't speak the language, please understand that there are people here to help you. You're not be gonna, gonna be persecuted for reporting a crime done against you. And if you don't feel comfortable reporting it in your own community, there are other agencies that Correct. are outside of Brockton. Is Absolutely. Dove and Quincy? There's Dove and Quincy. I mean, there's just so many. If you visit uh, our website and go under resources, you can find a plethora of resources right there and what we do a lot of what we do is point people in the right direction for help so again even if you don't feel comfortable with talking to someone in your community there's absolutely somewhere in your neighborhood or community that a DV agency is located I urge you to speak up because that's what perpetrators uh, they, they, they thrive upon is you staying silent that's the worst thing that you can do with this issue the more you speak up the 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 moment that you find the courage to say something is where they lose control over and, you. And if you can't speak up, hopefully you have a friend that can speak up on your behalf. Yes. Like, you know, that, that whole uh, cliche about if you see something, say something. But you you're also my brother get... and my sister's keeper, right? right? How easy is it for you as a friend to go on to the websites that I just mentioned and look and peruse for yourself to see where the closest DV agency is and have that in your back pocket just in case because you never know something like this happens. It's in our workplaces, it's in our homes, it's in our churches. We are doing a disservice to ourselves when we don't get educated, even if you are not being affected by it directly. We're going to bring you back another time, and I we're going to do a generic that. one about how to contact people. Absolutely. That. I wish I had more time today, but yes. we'll do it another time. Yes, Thank I appreciate you, so you always. Much, okay? Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.